Hey, what's up guys? My name is Mila and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about BoxyCharm and actually this is the first month where I actually received six items. Usually they only send you five items for $21 and this time they sent me six items. I don't know if everyone got six or is it just me? Or did they fuck up? No, actually they didn't fuck up because they actually put six on here. So I guess everybody has to get it. Hmm, which is kind of cool because who doesn't love more shit for $21? Sign me up. Oh, I'm already signed up. <laughs> Anyways, let's just get started because obviously we know how the box looks like. You guys should know by now that they give us this cute little card, tell us how much it is, how to use it, tips and tricks, and a little description about it. So yeah, let's just get started. So the first thing I'm gonna open is the Aesthetica three piece eye combo. So it comes with a brow spoolie, an angled liner brush, and a fine tipped eyeliner brush, and this all costs $45. I personally never use this brand, so this is like a first impressions for me. Okay, so start off my brows. I'm just gonna line them with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Oh my god, is that what it is? Yes, NYX Micro Brow NYX. Yes, NYX Micro Brow Pencil. The bristles feel really soft. They feel very nice, and honestly, it's kind of weird. But I can tell how easy or how hard it is. It's gonna be for me to clean brushes just by filling the bristles. And these ones feel like it's gonna be super easy for me to clean because we all hate cleaning our brushes. At least I do, but I have to. Now using the spoolie, I'm just gonna brush these babies up. And blending it. Okay, so I kind of did a little bit of my eyes because it's irrelevant for this video because it's about BoxyCharm. To prime my face, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Cover FX FX Blurring Primer. So the Cover FX is a blurring primer that instantly minimizes the appearance of pores and fine lines to create a super smooth, flawless airbrush look. This primer really does remind me of the NYX Veil Primer. Veil Primer? I think that's what it's called. Like you can totally feel like if you have open pores, this will definitely seal them up. How much is this? This is $38. And it's a lightweight, soft focus primer that blurs the appearance of pores, fine lines, and other imperfections, creating a smooth canvas for flawless foundation application. With that being said, I'm gonna apply my foundation and concealer and I'm gonna bake off camera. Okay, so I have not contoured yet because I'm gonna use the Pure Sculptor palette. <laughs> and it comes with two highlighters and two matte contour shades. This bad boy is a $30, make you holla holla. I don't know why it smells like chocolate. It smells kinda good. Okay, so the shade that I'm gonna go in with is Inventor, which is kinda like the not so darker shade from the two. Tap out the excess because it is a fucking sandstorm up in here. So I'm just gonna blend this onto my hairline. It is kinda dark, actually. This is really dark for me. Oh wow. Okay, maybe I just need to tap a lot less. Oh god, this really got kinda nice. I'm gonna barely tap a little bit, and still tap, and I'm gonna go ahead and contour my cheeks. Still feel like it's hella dark. And then the jawline. And I didn't pick up any extra product, I'm just going on whatever it is on my brush. <laughs> Cause that shit was highly pigmented. Okay, now for my nose, I grabbed my Luxie 229 to taper brush. I'm scared. And I'm just gonna lightly contour my nose. I'm scared. This shit is like fucking really dark. I need to zoom in on the face. I feel like it makes me look dirty. <gasps> Alright, whatevs. Whatevs, I'm done with that. I'm gonna go in with my Give Me Sun bronzer. Hopefully I can soften it, and it definitely did soften. Yes, thank God, cause that shit was fucking dark as shit. Go down my neck a little. <laughs> I don't know why I always do that, I always do it. Now I'm using the other brush that they gave us. It is a face brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and add some blush. 
just hmm. I'm just gonna add a little bit super fluffy brush excuse my neighbors I don't know what the hell that they're doing outside I think they have like a little mobile car there's just things I can't control in this world and that is one of them so for my highlight I'm gonna use trailblazer actually I'm gonna mix both of them trailblazer and originator and I'm just gonna apply it right here honey I flex with it I flex with it they all smell so yummy. Mm, it smells so good, I just wanna eat some chocolate. So actually I like to go to my finger. I feel like my finger does better than brushes. I just know why. I just feel like I get more of the pigment right. Okay, the one thing that I did not use was the, ooh, what can it? Hmm. It's the Pretty Vulgar Ink Gel liner and which will go hand in hand with the liner pencil so I'm just gonna I don't know oh oh this looks like it's super oh yeah why did I wear a liner today oh that is freaking good that that is good the last thing is the matte lip gloss by beauty creations this is like a little cheaper brand i feel but they have really good shit i have two of their palettes actually and i really 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 do enjoy them i don't know why i keep talking like that i really don't know why just so happy i'm not making fun of anyone who speaks that kind of accent i just am truly obsessed with that accent like Hands down, every time we play King's Cup and I get like the queen, not queen, what is it? It's the the real one, I think it's the Joker. I'm always like, we have to speak in accents and that's my go-to accent every time I talk. So then this lip gloss runs for $10. I don't know if it goes with this look. Mm, kind of, huh? Kind of. Should line my lips, whatever. Alright, so this is the final look. I obviously added a little cute little wig. It's in this wig so cute. I fucking love it. <laughs> FYI, this is not a lip gloss. Did it say it was going to dry matte? I don't know. Let's see. I lie to you guys. This is a Beauty Creations Matte Liquid Lip Gloss. Huh? Huh? Whatever. It dries really good. So it's kissable. Total of everything that we received from BoxyCharm, all six full size items came out to $174. Mm, no sense. <laughs> and all you pretty much pay for is $21. No tax, no, there's no tax, and there's no, what is it called when they send it to you? Sending fee, service fee. I forgot what it's called. I have like a major brain fart. Traveling fee. <laughs> I have a brief I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> but anyways, I'm totally killing for this highlight. I absolutely love it. I haven't reapplied it at all and I'm all about it. Anyways, if you guys do like this tutorial slash not really review but open box, um, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, let me know what you guys think. Um, other than that, I gotta get to work because I'm gonna be late. Last thing, if you guys aren't following me on any other of my social medias, make sure you guys go do that. Let's be friends, yada yada yada. And Bye.